IFP President Velenkosi Nishabisa has promised to deliver a message of hope and change at the party's election manifesto launch on Sunday. He has addressed hundreds of party supporters at a rally at Kwamakuta, south of Durban. Now the party says it is dedicating this year's campaign to its late founder, Prince Mangosu Tubuteles. The IFP is not going to concentrate in criticizing the government that has already failed, but we will be presenting the solutions to the challenges of our country. We will present a solution to load shading, to crime, to unemployment, to corruption, a turnaround plan in as to how to revive the economy that will be able to create job opportunities so that the 41% of our youth who are sitting at home, some of whom graduate, can once again get an opportunity to wake up in the morning, to go and work, to fulfill their dreams and aspirations. The elections in 2024 are as good as elections in 1994. In 1994, I'm one of the people who queued in long, who stood on long queues for more than one day because I was determined that we wanted to remove the apartheid government which was not doing anything for us. In 2024, on 29 May, the people of South Africa, the 27.6 million, we are calling upon them, let us all go to the voting station to remove the government that has subjected us to stage six of load shading, unemployment, crime, corruption, and poor economy. Now hundreds of IFP supporters have attended the party's rally at Guamakota in the south of Durban. This, of course, ahead of the party's manifesto launch at the Moses Mabide Stadium in Durban on Sunday. Now the IFP is the official opposition in the province and the fourth largest in the country. SABC News political editor Mzwandi Lembeje is at the IFP gala dinner tonight and he joins us live. Mzwandile, a very good evening to you. Look, a lot of expectation and speculation about exactly how the IFP will actually fare in the upcoming elections, especially with the rumoured uh, leadership clashes since the passing of uh, Prince Boutelezi. Uh, so what is the word on the ground? What are the supporters themselves looking forward to hear from their leadership uh, on Sunday? Well, a very good evening to you, Alicia, and the viewers, and indeed you are quite correct. Uh, this is quite an exciting time politically uh, from the point of view of the political parties that are contesting for power. Every five years, South Africans get given an opportunity to choose the government of their choice uh, that will serve them for the uh, further uh, five years. So this is the chance that they are being given um, on the 29th of May, they will be given that chance again to choose the government which they will want to represent them for the next five years. So for the past 30 years, from 1994, South Africans have chosen the ANC in most uh, in the country, uh, nationally, and then of course uh, in most provinces. At some point, uh, the ANC was able to govern um, all nine provinces, but then we saw uh, the DA somehow reclaim uh, the, the Western Cape, even in the earlier stages of government. So this province of KwaZulu Natal, which has appeared as a battleground, was at some point governed by the official opposition in this province, which is the IFP, which has the ambitions, uh, Alicia, as you've, as you've said, uh, to now take over, particularly in this province, and then of course make significant, significant gains uh, nationally. But of course, South Africans will be the one who will uh, decide and determine if that uh, assessment that the IFP is having is the correct one. But 
tonight uh, we are speaking to the Treasurer General of the IFP because to be able to do all that we have spoken about, you have to have deep pockets. You have to crisscross the province. You have to crisscross the country. And then you need money. Somehow, the political parties are using this opportunity to try and raise funds. So I'm with the Treasurer General of the IFP, uh, Naren Singh, who will tell us that ahead of their manifesto launch uh, that will take place um, at Moses Mapita, uh, Alicia, um, on Sunday, um, what exactly they've got in terms of uh, raising funds. Uh, Mr. Uh, Singh, we have seen you quite busy trying to get uh, as many people to occupy those tables as possible because this will be a very big election. Talk to us about what's going to be happening uh, tonight. Well, firstly, good evening to you, Mr. Mbacha, and to all your viewers. Uh, this is a pre-manifesto activation exercise, not necessarily to bring in uh, money, but also we have about 200 invited guests by the president of the party, uh, Velengosi Nitlavisa, and we have others who have just paid for a table, a very nominal amount, uh, uh, unlike some other political parties that charge very big amounts. And they're here to listen to some of the things that we will be uh, raising at our manifesto launch on Sunday, the president. Of course, he won't go into detail tonight, but we want to make an appeal to those that are here to try and support us because, uh, as Schenger would say, and bless his soul, money is the milk of politics. And, uh, you know, we've always been at a disadvantage that we haven't had the kind of resources that the other major political parties have had. We haven't had the opportunity to use even government resources, uh, you know, for election purposes. So we're trying to do this on our own steam and make sure that we can raise as much money to make a good showing in the elections on the 29th of May. You're speaking about the nominal amount. Uh, what does that mean uh, in real terms? Yeah, it's 50,000 rand a table. And you know there was another political party, it was 300,000 rand a table. So are you sold out? Uh, we sold out 30 tables and 20 tables, like I say, are the guests of the president. So the IFP, what are the prospects? Uh, if you look around, I know that obviously your base is here in KZN, but you have ambitions of going beyond KZN. So when you look around and um, speaking to people who can be able to assist you, so what are the prospects? What um, are you hoping to achieve as the IFP in this election, particularly without Umdwana? Well, Umdwana is going to be our big draw card. Uh, as we are dedicating this election, to Mdwana, and this is why you'll see in our posters and our advertising, Mdwana features prominently because we know he's not here with us to talk to us, but he's guiding us from wherever he is to make sure that we make a very good showing. Because as IFP, we believe 1994, uh, this is 1994 all over again. And judging from our recent successes in municipalities, and by elections, we are on an upward trajectory. We want to maintain that uh, momentum. And uh, from going around in the last few weeks, senior leaders, the, our chairperson of the Daily Management Committee, uh, May and Tuli, President Kabisa himself, and other senior leader, leaders have been crisscrossing the province and other provinces to encourage people to join us on Sunday at the manifesto launch. I know that you've been using, obviously, the liquors of uh, the late uh, uh, Prince Boutelis, but uh, there is this issue that um, in August, after the elections, you're going to your own elective conference, and we know uh, contestation is part of a healthy uh, political game. So is it not distracting you at the moment? Because we know, uh, without uh, much being said, that uh, that contest uh, will indeed happen. Uh, the people will decide. Our membership will decide who they want as, uh, as their leader. I have no doubt that they're going to choose the current leader and the leadership to continue. And it is our showing in this election which is going to demonstrate to them that they have chosen five years ago the right kind of leadership to propel the party forward. Thank you very much, Mr. Singh. Thank you very much. Well, there is uh, the Treasurer General of the IFP, uh, Naren Singh, basically saying they are ready, they are trying to get all the resources that they can get so that they are able to fight this election. They feel they are in a space where it's possible for them uh, to indeed increase their share of the vote. All right, we're going to leave it there. That is uh, Mzwandi Lembeje, SABC political editor editor uh, in Durban for us with a look ahead of the IFP's manifesto launch at the Moses Mabida Stadium this coming Sunday.